Hey what's up guys, I'm Shubhankar from TechCrunch Gadgets and in this video, I'm going to tell you about 8 amazing Android apps that are not available on the Play Store. These apps are completely safe and are a must try. So let's get started. If it is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. First up on the list is Blockada. It is a very powerful ad blocker that blocks intrusive ads and other trackers across your device. Now I understand ads are important for developers' livelihood. But there are good ads and bad ads. Ads that spoil user experience should be blocked. You can also change your default DNS server. Choosing a fast DNS like Cloudflare will help protect your privacy and may speed up your device. It also comes with an inbuilt VPN that encrypts your network traffic and helps protect your data from prying eyes. This is a feature-packed app and you should definitely try it. Next up is Viper for Android. It is the father of all equalizer apps. You can configure almost anything in this app. If you're an audiophile, then this app is pure gold for you. It has a host of features like Analog X, Spectrum extensions, speaker optimization, fidelity control and so much more. Heck, I don't even know what half of these settings are for. If you're a music enthusiast, you'll love the audio output that you're gonna get from this app. The only limitation is that it requires root access. But if you do, then you should definitely try this one. ImagePipe is a nifty little tool that can be very helpful at times. Suppose we're trying to fill an online form and you need to upload a photo in a specified field. But the photo needs to be less than 25 KB in size and dimensions not more than 500 by 500. Now you don't need to use Photoshop, GIMP or other advanced PC software for that. Using this app, you can do this easily by first adding the picture and then selecting the size of the image and by doing this, the dimensions will be automatically adjusted. I can increase or decrease the size of the image by moving the quality slider and when I am done, I'll just click on shrink and then click on save to save the image. It's very easy. This app can be a boon sometimes. Next up is AppScope. It is a leading directory of progressive web apps. Now these are web-based apps that mimic and offer the same functionality as traditional apps. Just imagine using a fully functional Instagram app without ever installing the app in the first place, just using a browser. This is very helpful for people who have less storage space and not a huge amount of RAM. Let me show you how it works. Just go to the AppSco website from the link in the description below and then click on the three dot menu and then click on add to home screen. Now this is a progressive web app and you'll find the app icon in your app drawer. Now I will use it to launch Instagram and then again click on the three dot menu and click on add to home screen. It's done. The app icon has been added to my home screen and now I can use Instagram just using my browser without ever installing the app. I highly recommend this one. After all, progressive web apps are the future of apps. Evdroid is a community maintained software repository where all the apps are free and fully open source. It's a highly respected alternative to Google's Play Store and contains a lot of apps that are not available on the Play Store. In fact, most of the apps in this video are found in Fdroid. Definitely check this one out. Coming from the folks at XDL developers, XDL Apps is similar to Fdroid but is an app store with steroids. Other than downloading apps, you can find countless helpful guides regarding your smartphone. It's my favorite Android community app. Plus, if you are a root user, the exposed tab is a sheer shot heaven with countless modules to customize your Android OS. In fact, the Viper for Android app that I showcased earlier was taken from this app. Do give it a try. Next up is Takiomi. This is a free and open source manga reader for Android. You can read both online and offline from sources like Manga Dex and hundreds of other sources. Plus, there are a lot of options to customize the reader to your own preference. If you're a manga fan, this app is perfect for you. The last but not the least is APK Mirror. Now APK Mirror is a very popular source to download Android APKs. 
and this is the app version of the website. If you always want the latest version of a particular app, be it alpha, beta or stable release, then this is the place to get it. For example, if you want the latest WhatsApp beta version to try out new features long before it is rolled out, you can find the beta APKs right here. This is my go-to website to download unreleased app versions and I definitely recommend it. So guys, these are the best Android apps that are not available on the Play Store. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button below, do share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching.